You've just got a Transport for London PCN. Ignore it and things could get a lot worse. The last thing you want is the fine to increase or to have a debt collector come bang on your door. But that doesn't mean you have to pay instantly. Successfully appealing a PCN isn't nearly as hard as many people imagine. I'll show you how. Transport for London is the government body responsible for the transport network in the capital. The body oversees many things, including the London congestion charge, which is a £15 a day fee motorists pay when they enter central areas of London. They also oversee the heavily congested red routes, where parking is strictly forbidden. It's important not to treat the Transport for London penalty charge notice or PCN that you received like any other private parking ticket. PCNs from the council work very differently from private parking tickets. A PCN is actually a fine, while a private parking ticket is more similar to an invoice you have to pay. So you should never ignore your PCN. It will only get worse. In fact, if you don't pay or appeal within 28 days, you'll often find that the fine will increase quickly, sometimes by up to 50%. Before we talk about how to appeal your PCN, it's important to remember that if you pay Transport for London within 14 days of receiving the fine, you'll be able to get a 50% reduction in the fee. So if you don't have a good reason to appeal, you might want to pay sooner. If you decide you do want to appeal or make a representation against your Transport for London PCN, you'll need to have a good reason for doing so, as their rules are very strict. I'll include a link in the description to Transport for London's information page about making a representation. So maybe your car genuinely broke down on a red route, or some kind of emergency forced you into a congestion charge zone. If that was the case, then you might want to go ahead with an appeal. Additionally, if you feel that signs were obstructed or road markings weren't clear, then you might want to grab your phone and return to the scene of the crime to snap some photographs as evidence to help support your appeal. Be sure to follow the appeals procedure as soon as possible. The quicker you get an appeal filed, the sooner the problem can be resolved. But you need a fair time to be able to prepare any appeal. If Transport for London didn't get their letter to you within 14 days, then it's not unreasonable to ask for extra time. If you want to make sure your appeal is as strong as possible, then one popular option is to consult a solicitor. There's many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting one in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. One of my colleagues saved £271 on a ticket using their service. I've linked that offer in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.